Awam Israel, call Allah Yahweh Shabbat Shabbat Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the GMS, the Ruel, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. It's GMS, stop and listen. Uh, coming with a nest, let another lesson, it's like it. breaking news. Uh, these troops, these NATO troops, U.S. troops, man, they're moving to like Georgia, the country Georgia. They're going towards that border, bringing in uh, tanks or whatnot. So the battle is getting close, man. They're getting close. They have troops with them going on the ground in Georgia. And we know that's the southern part of Russia, man. So they, they're getting ready, you know. This is Joel. Uh, I, Joel 3 and 1. I will gather also together a nation and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is the Middle East, right? And it says, I will plead with them, therefore my people, and for my heritage Israel, man. Because they have they have touched the apple of the Lord's eye, whom they have scattered among all nations and part of part of my land. This is verse nine. Proclaim ye this. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare for war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all men of war draw near. Let them come up. So you look up the word proclaim. Korah. You need to call out. That's what we're doing on the highways and byways week in and week out. We're prophesying and telling you that war is coming according to the scriptures. It says prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. All these different uh, uh, men of war. These top men of war. They they're, they have been in those strategic war rooms making plans. And this is uh, uh, results of the plans, man. Their plan is to get bunkered down and prepare for World War Three. Which is a move by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has them making this move anyway. He said, Let all men of war draw near. Meaning, draw near in the gosh. To draw near to approach. Right? To draw near, to approach, to, to, to come near. Right? To, as, as an enemy to attack. See? As an enemy to attack, man. So they're preparing and getting closer for an imminent attack uh, on Russia, right? And Iran, they're getting in position. We fully support Georgia's Euro-Atlantic aspirations. At the summit last week, all 29 allies reaffirmed that Georgia will become a member of uh, NATO. Come on, they said they're making Georgia a, a, a part of the Confederate, man. You know, part of that, that NATO. You know, so you're going to be a, another member. Man. First, Isaiah 34 and 1. Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all the things that come forth of it, man. So this is part of it. That's why we watch alternative news, right? We hear, we hear what's going on. So we know with, with watching the alternative news and look, filtering through the scriptures, we know how close we are, man. We right around the corner from the, the destruction of America and the annihilation of America, man. You know, it says for the verse two, for the indignation of the Lord Yahweh is upon all the nations and his fury upon all the, their armies. It says upon all their armies, he have utterly destroyed them and have delivered them to the slaughter. And that's that's what it, that's what's going down. Man. The Lord, the Lord is delivering you all to the slaughter. You think, you think it's going to be for? In what is left you think it's going to be, be for for uh, the next so Prime Minister takeover? The next takeover is going to be the next. You know, support Israel. for Georgia's security. You know, 
and its territorial integrity within its internationally recognized borders. This includes the regions of Abkhazia and South Ossetia. And we call on Russia to withdraw its forces from your country. So, Prime Minister, once again, thank you for being here. Uh, See, they call on Russia to withdraw from the country. That's why NATO was set up in the beginning when you read about it. You know, basically, is 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 was for, to not let Russia basically take over. When you go into reread NATO and the Wikipedia, it, it'll give you that information. Uh, Psalms 96 and 10 say among the heathen that the Lord Yahweh reigneth. The world also shall be established. The world of Israel going to be established, man. That it shall not be moved. Because once the Lord destroys, uh, destroys uh, these forces, man, He's going to set us up and we're going to be in rulership forever, man. With, with Yahweh Shai, man. Them joint heirs. It says that it shall be, be not, shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously, man. So it's going to, hey, man. Everything that the Lord is, is, is brewing up, man, and using these, these nations to do, it's all righteous, man. And it's for, it's for the, uh, for the, uh, deliverance, man, and the uplift, upbringing of the new, world to come, which is Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans, man. You know, so these cats is getting ready to go to war. They're setting up. You know, they're getting ready, man. You know what I mean? The U.S. and NATO convoy arrived in Georgia. You know? So they, so they're getting ready for war, man. They're preparing for war. Hey, the Lord, hey, the chess game is getting good. That Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is playing on these nations. We just keep watch, man. You know, keep keep the alternative news watch. Man. Just watch for the prophecies, man, and, and, and the signs, brother. Keep your faith. All praise be to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the GMS, who rule well. Peace and blessings to the host of the We GMS, fully support Georgia's Atlantic aspirations. At the summit last week, 